Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh So good day again everyone Today we will be discussing a little bit about the Cartesian coordinate system This would be just a review for you guys okay? So the Cartesian coordinate system um, basically contains um, In this figure you will see okay, Our vertical number line And our horizontal number line here Okay so as for this, um, the number line, if you're familiar na already, um, it will contain numbers from positive numbers on the, here, for the x-axis, it would be on the right side, and on the left side, we will have, for a while, I'm undoing a little bit, and here, positive, and on the left side, would have negative, and as for the y-axis, um, we, have, we would have all positive above on the um, coordinate system and also um, negative numbers here on the bottom part. Okay? And, the num and the intersection of the x and y axis or our vertical and horizontal um, number line would be the, always the middle of our um, number line which is of course 0. And in this case, since um, this is a number a coordinate system, Meaning, we will have a specific value for x and y always on each specific point that we will create. Okay, always a, always a point or um, a value for x and y. So, um, for this case, um, we call all the values on the x-axis being abscissa. Sorry for a while. Okay, abscissa. And for the y-axis, it's called the ordinate. Okay. So, the ordinate and abscissa. And again, each point will be uh, consisting of two values being x and y. So, in this case, our middle part, this is, would be 0 and 0. Okay. Next one, um, we will discuss about the quadrants. Okay. So, if you would notice in our figure, um, it's divided into four parts. Okay. Being the first quadrant, second quadrant, the third quadrant, and then we have the fourth quadrant. Okay, so the first quadrant, if you would notice here, based on the signs of our x and y axis, it would contain values that are always positive. Okay, and then for the second quadrant, we would have negative and positive because the x here is negative and then the y is positive. Okay, and then for the third quadrant, there third quadrant we would have both negative and for the fourth quadrant we would have positive and negative so this would be the general case when it comes to that uh, the signs of our um x and y uh, our um, core, um quadrants okay now as for the ano for for example say i locate a point here let's say we have a point here yeah the point here will obviously have positive and positive because it's on the first quadrant. But what if the point lies on the axis? So what would be the value of this one? Is it positive or negative or what? Now in this case, if the point lies on the axis, um, the value would be dependent on whichever side it is on the, um, num um, on the axis. For example, it's on the positive side. So therefore, our given will have positive for x and as for the y it would have no value because it's on the center okay now as for here if your point will be located here okay you would have negative for x and 0 for y and for this one above you would have um, 0 for x and positive for y and for down here we would have 0 for x and negative for y okay so this would be for now our axis Okay, and why why am I discussing this one? Because it is very easy for you to locate your um point even if you are not plotting it on the Cartesian coordinate system. Um, based on the signs. Okay, so for example, I have this one. Example number one. So I have two and zero. So where do you think this one is? So checking the signs this is positive and zero and you are reminded that if i have positive and zero then definitely it's on the it's on the positive x axis here so it would be on the positive x sorry let me 
positive x axis okay so why kasi it's positive and zero and this is positive and zero it's on the positive side of the x axis okay so again knowing the sign of your given will be easier for you um to identify its location in the cartesian plane instead of plotting it okay another example say i have negative 3 and negative 4 the sign here is negative and negative and you if you will check oh it's in the it's color and also white to say oh it's on the third quadrant so therefore your answer here would be on the quadrant number three okay so again it's easier for you to locate your points okay if you know the sign and the, the location would be just simply i will list it down you will have your quadrants one up until that one at up until quadrant four and you would have your end positive and negative x or y axis and lastly we have the um, origin an origin would be of course at zero zero okay so it would be easier for you to locate those things now as for the for the numbers of course um in our cartesian plane let me just um uh, recopy this one let's copy this one and create another one okay so let's paste it here um, not the values only the picture wait um wait long for i think let's just copy this entire picture and let's just erase the writings okay so yeah so now as for the points because if you would notice in our cartesian plane um yeah let me erase this one in our cartesian plane you would have your um segments like it's divided into specific parts like this one a certain partition another partition and so on so this one would have values from one two three four five or it could be changed it could be changed based on your i know um your liking for example i want this um this to be say by two so two four six eight and so on but the thing about that is if you would apply this term we call scaling okay you must apply the scaling for the entire x-axis meaning i cannot have this one one two negative one negative two negative three and so on this is wrong it should be the same scaling for the entire axis so meaning this should be negative two negative four and negative six and so on but then again scaling should be for the entire axis meaning it if it is for the x-axis it's only for the x-axis for the y-axis you can actually still have one two three four five six and so on it does not matter okay if you're scaling for x is different it's triple at if you're scaling for x is different with the scaling in y okay so why do we actually use scaling we use scaling because there are instances that um the given graph for you the given graph for you is very small okay like this one yeah it's small and it's i think it's limited up until one two three four five six seven eight nine ten it's only up until ten and you are given a point that you need to locate at um say um 16 and 4 if you will try to locate 16 and 4 the x would be 16 but look at here the x is up until 10 so i would try to uh, no, to scale down this one into 2 4 6 8 10 12 third um 14 16 so your point here is in the 16 okay so x and then for the y i would leave it as is so i will put this at 4 so meaning your point would be somewhere here okay scaling is okay long as you are um, pers um consistent for the entire axis okay and that is again the points in our um cartesian thing and then again yun nga, a reminder lang for the from the origin above it's always positive from the origin below it's negative from the origin to the right it's positive from the origin to the left it's always negative okay and plotting points i do hope that it would that would be easy for you but i will just teach you one way that i plot points it's just simply about okay the way i plot points is just simply alignment ina align ko lang kasi there are cases like for example i have 
say negative 2 and 4. When you are checking for the value for x and y, okay, for x, you start from the origin. This is one way po, ah. Then if it, the x is negative, you go to the left. If it's positive, then to the right. So, negative, positive for x. Okay, since the x here is negative 2, so I move two places to the left. 1, 2, and then y is positive, it goes up for y. And if y is negative, then I go down. Since this is positive, for I go up. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then I plot. So this would be my point. And the thing about this one is, uh, no, it's, um, it's taxing. I really don't like plotting like this. Okay? The plotting that I would want you guys to be familiar with is yung by simply alignment. For example, I have negative 3 and negative 7. So you check in the x, this is negative 3. And negative 7 would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it would be somewhere right here. Check if it is aligned. Yes, if it is aligned. Yes. Then you're good. Okay? So you don't need necessarily need to create that ano, that specific um dashed line, okay? You just simply need to um uh, align, okay? And check whether it am I correct or not. Okay? And that would be for plotting points. And also identifying points would also go with that alignment thing. So you will check this is negative 2. And this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this would be 7 and negative 2. Okay? And that would be for um, identifying the coordinate of the points. Okay? So that would be it. I hope that you picked up something today. Um, uh, if you would have any other questions, uh, just uh, chat me in our chat box or review the video again. Thank you everyone for listening and assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.